Did you guys really think I was gonna do that? Did you really think that I was gonna succumb to society's expectations of a proper meme? A severely overcooked meme? No! Okay, the Tide Pop meme is, is dumb and stupid and it was funny for like a day and a half only because it, it was just funny, okay? I, I thought it was funny, I'm sorry. Sue me. Anyways, I don't know what this video, if this video even has a purpose. I got off work, I had my first day of work, I work at Starbucks at my college, but I made this myself on the job. Iced hazelnut latte, what's new? Story time, though. So well, I'm walking back to my dorm. Uh, I don't know if you guys know what this is, but at University of Tennessee, uh, they have a certain weekend in like February called Boxing Weekend, okay? So I'm walking back, I'm not going tonight. Cause I'm a good noodle, priorities, school. So I'm walking back and I pass these people, you know, these girls very dressed up. Um, they're wearing cute clothes and like I hear them talking and they're just like, so like dorms at UT or anywhere, there's community style, some of them. And I'm walking by and they're like, this one's like, uh, so like, she had the nerve to decide to tell me that she lived with community style bathrooms when I got here. And her friends were like, oh my God, I know, like, that's just awful. And I'm like, they definitely don't go here. And they're probably not in college. I don't know if they're expecting a penthouse in college because I wish I lived in a penthouse. I mean, what am I mean? I wish. This is a penthouse. I mean, you guys saw the, the, the cute scissors on the floor, right? I don't know if you guys know this, but my roommate, um, she likes to leave cute little traps around. It's like fear factor in here. Like, booby traps everywhere oh it's a freaking game all the time it's a challenge like a fun challenge living here and they're like oh come here they wish they had this yeah um probably gonna vlog again i just wanted to share you know <laughs> it's a little something <laughs> we're using the sugar face polish like i did in the last vid so we decided that we're having a baby. We're gonna. <laughs> ah! <sighs> Meaty questions. You two. Ow! Guys! Like this? I'm gonna have to replay that. We gotta go after. We, we gotta go! <laughs> what is your favorite. The one that sounds like boys. All right, what female celebrity do you wish was your sister? Ah, uh, Kelsey Kruppel. Yes! I think she's a celebrity at this point. I think so. She's getting there. What she's male celebrity do you wish was your brother? Cody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this, is a, this is awful. <laughs> this is going so bad. We're just going to pretend nothing's happening. <laughs> Can you do a split? Oh. We actually did... Pilates. Was it yoga? It was yoga. And they were like, do a split. And we were like... And this girl yeah. literally just drops into a split like <laughs> nobody's like, business. And we're like, <gasps> how old were you when you first learned how to ride a bike? Like seven. I was in first grade. <laughs> how many countries have you been to? America. That does not count. We were birthed here. Whatever. I went to like Italy, Spain, France. I've been to Mexico. I've been to four. I've been to those three and then Germany. What's the worst grade you got on a test? A zero. I think I've gotten a zero. Really? Before. It was Mine like fourth was grade. Probably in like the 30s. Fourth grade, I never. I mean, older, I think I've gotten like a 40 something, but fourth grade, I got a zero. Keep going. Uh, what was your favorite TV show when you were a child? I liked Lizzie McGuire. Because there's so many. I like Lizzie McGuire. I love Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. I liked. Victorious uh, was one of the few shows that like actually made me laugh. iCarly made me laugh. You would like iCarly. Oh my god. What did you dress up as on Halloween when you were eight? It's very specific. When I was eight? I don't know. I think a, I was a vampire for like four years straight. This that was probably year, in that time. This period. year though, I was the devil wears Prada. Okay, but more importantly, I was Prada. I can Malone. show you a picture. Picture right here. Okay, we'll put it there. But I was Post Malone. Right here. Anyways, carry on. 
Would you rather have an American accent or a British accent? British. Um, I'm all about being original and who you are. I would never change who I am. American. <laughs> Do you know who Kermit the Frog is? Who doesn't? Hello, I am Kermit. That? Kermit the Frog. Is your father bald? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hi, Dad. You look and this is repulsive. Like if you zoom in, it looks. I like look we're, sweaty. Yeah. With, like dirt rubbed in. <laughs> We've been out working in the dirt. Have you ever been to Olive Garden? Who has not? Unlimited soup and salad. Why would you not? What? <laughs> who has not? Well, why? Why would you? Let's like. Yeah, uh, I've never who been. Has to, it? You go, who has not? Because it's a formal question. I gotta answer formally. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Who's your favorite person in the world? Go ahead. No, you can go first. Two, three. Danny DeVito. I think we just realized something about <laughs> each other. Danny right. DeVito's my dad. Alright, I already know Kate's answer to this. Do you sleep with a nightlight? <laughs> Tell him! <laughs> What's the last compliment you got? <laughs> Um, can't remember. I think my mom calling me beautiful on my Instagram picture. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Ow, my eye! Let's talk about how to get over a breakup. <gasps> That's juicy. Okay. <laughs> I'm not the one to talk to. <laughs> the thing is, the scoop is. Here's the scoop. On poop. <laughs> Miserable. This stuff. Thought that she could. Is a, friends, is a thought. Is a thought. And thought she, she could, could be, be a thought. Be a thought. <laughs> with, a you thought. Know, the thought. And so you like. <laughs> what happened? I said thought, and you're like. Duh, duh, duh. I was just gonna say though. She was gonna say that I tried being friends slash dating still, but not being dating, and it ruined me. Do you know? How, like it's so confusing the way. You even have to describe that relationship. That's just not worth it. It's not worth it. That's and that's how you get over a breakup. See you guys later. I'll video again sometime soon.